All right, we're on week four, and week four is focusing on mindfulness. So what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is when you focus your attention on the present moment. This is a way to practice self-awareness by paying attention to your body, thoughts, feelings, and surroundings. Being mindful requires us to be in tune with ourselves. So it's really about focusing on yourself and thinking about what is going on with you right now. So we have our five activities for us. So our first one for our morning is think about the word mindful. Think about what mindfulness might look like for you. What are some ways you can be mindful? So one is, they have some examples here. Breathing exercises, noticing smells, tastes, sounds around you, how they make you feel. So one way is you can practice mindfulness. So when you're doing simple basic stuff like brushing your teeth, combing your hair, you can stop and think about what exactly is going on there. Zero all that sound, sight, smell, taste, things that you Another thing that you can do is you can let your mind wander. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means just let your mind go where it is, wherever it wants to think about whatever it wants to do. Just think about what it is that you're thinking about. Another thing you can do is we can practice mindfulness while we wait. So while we're waiting, that can often be a big source of frustration when we're stuck in traffic, but it's actually an opportunity for us to be mindful. So while we're waiting. practice a mindful activity, like thinking about what's around us. So what else can we do to show this mindfulness? Well, one of the ones that Ms. Dracula, a former teacher, like to do this a lot is we can also meditate. Now that doesn't mean getting on the floor and going hmm, but it means thinking about what's going on in the world. Thinking about what's going on in your life and tapping into that mindfulness requires very little effort on this part. Now, for our next one is look or step outside. Use your sense to write down details about the world around you. What does it look like, feel like, smell like? So, what does it look like outside? It looks like a nice, calm day. There is a slight smell in the air of french fries, which is, at least for me, because I live right next door to a Burger King and a Wendy's. Now, what do I hear? I hear bird chirping. So I'm really just describing what's going on in that world around me. And then I would keep adding that. This next one is think about that mindfulness about yourself, being in tune with yourselves. What is your favorite food? Describe what it feels like to eat that food. What do you like most about it? Well, my favorite food is I love the texture of rice wrappers. I want to make sure I'm going back and checking that smelling. Then, what does it feel like to eat it? Feels like a submarine descending down my throat. Softness. Now, maybe it doesn't sound very appetizing to you, but it's what is it that you're thinking about? As it's being consumed. So now, what do you like most about it? I like the variety of flavors and foods. Make up the sauces that go with it are also super. So here I'm really talking about why it is I enjoy sushi. So I want to keep adding to it, but for our time, we're going to finish there. 
Okay, so now we have the next one. Take a moment and one deep breath. Close your eyes if you want. Slow your breathing down. What do you notice about your heart? Now be active for 30 seconds. What do you notice about your heart? Write down the difference in your heart between your palm and your booty. Well, I already did this before, so we're not going to do that 30 seconds part. But when my heartbeat was calm and slow, then I took that first breath. Then I exercised for 30 seconds. What happened to my heartbeat? My heartbeat became much faster. More uncontrollable. It kept doing that beep, beep, beep. And then it wasn't really giving the rest of my body a chance to slow down and catch up. I had a control motion. What else is it asking us to do? What do you notice? It was fast and rapid. Then it says, it's rapid is now rapid. Then it says, write about the difference from your heartbeat when you're pumped when you're moving. So I just expand upon those two. How else was it different? The last one for this is describe what a mindful moment looks like for you. How can you practice mindfulness? And what will it do to help you learn? So, a mindful moment for me looks like a calm, noise-free environment. So you may not be able to get that right now at your house, but see if you can find a place for it. Now I'm going to keep describing for that. It involves soft music playing in the background that I can focus on if I want. Now, our second part says this. How can practicing mindfulness help you learn? Well, practicing mindfulness helps me learn by being able to understand and manage my emotions. allows me oops, to not get too angry or too depressed. So really that mindfulness is focusing on managing your emotions and making sure you're in a good place in your head that you're able to get your work done, be able to focus on what's important for you and not let your emotions be in charge of you. 